Congratulations, India. Congratulations to you and me and each one of us, the vibrant voices of incredible India for assuming the historic presidency of G20. And a heartiest welcome. Swagatam to the entire world in the land of multiple faiths and rich culture, in the land of ancient civilizations and in the land of simplest yet bravest and brightest minds like you all here, my dear friends. Namaste. My name is Divya Negi and today I'm representing Devabhumi Uttarakhand. And with all due permission of our respected judges, I would like to express my opinions on the topic India's G20 Presidency, One Earth, One Family, One Future. From the COVID-19 pandemic, which continues to ravage the world, to big power rivalries, from ever-increasing belligerence of North Korea, to China's assertiveness over Taiwan, and from debt trap policy, to two of our neighbors, Sri Lanka and Pakistan, deeply plunging into political and economic crisis, respected judges, when the world is busy creating chaos for humanity, India comes forward with the message of Vasudev Kutumbakam. I am a Nija Paroveti, Ganana Laguchet Sam, Udar Charitanam, Tuvasudhev Kutumbakam. The world is one family. And when we talk about one family, I believe that we need to know what having a family actually means. I'll tell you. Having a family means sharing knowledge and experiences. Having a family means uh, collaborating and communicating. Having a family means helping each other and asking for help without hesitation. And having a family means standing together through tough times. And this family of ours, respected judges, has one home, our Mother Earth. And we all need to collectively come together to protect it as the decisions of today will have a profound impact on the world of tomorrow. And that's how we all have a connected future. Under, the G, under India's G20 presidency, with over 200 meetings that has to be held in the country and which will result in cultural exchange when the world will learn about the Ankhya Nat of Assam, when the world will learn about the Bhimbetka caves in Madhya Pradesh, when the world will learn about...